This morning I'm uh, going to be doing a walking tour of the CTRV Resort here in Benson, Arizona. This is the entrance to the resort. Right at the entrance is a park for the, the dogs. For owners to be able to let uh, their dogs uh, run free. the office where you can check in it also has uh, laundry facilities and some meeting rooms right after the dog park here there's a wash and it has a walking trail that goes around the, the whole resort. Here at the beginning, in the front of the resort, there's uh, spots for people that are just coming through for a few days or a week uh, that they can uh, stay at. And over there is the barn, which is uh, a space for events, for dinner, and uh, occasional shows. Um, there's also exercise uh, class that meets there regularly. And here are mailboxes for full-time residents. There's also a part of the RV park that has uh, homes and that's uh, where they receive their mail. The spots here with the gravel is uh, for long-term rentals. It can be monthly. trash cans for the whole resort and as you can see in the background this whole Benson area is surrounded by mountains and the, the resort has lots of landscaping plantings and through here is the maintenance area for the resort there's a rock stand and some storage spaces also. And the maintenance equipment. This area of the park is for lots of uh, owner lots where people have purchased their lots that uh, they can come back or live full time in as well this area here this is where we're staying the lot that we're in and this whole row also as well as this side over here and the owners can rent their lots out if they wish to do so now we're coming up to the clubhouse crow's nest is what it's called and the clubhouse again has a meeting room, TV room, 
there's also a laundry facility bathroom with showers Here's an exercise area for lifting weights. The putting area for golf. And the laundry facility. Areas to sit outside. And hot tub as well as a decent sized swimming pool. And this whole side is uh, owner, owner lots. And there's only a few spots left uh, to purchase. And really nice plantings, cactus plantings for the area. And there's a meeting area also out in the wash with tables. My cactus are blooming. Another blooming cactus. This is another section of the park with owner lots. You can have uh, tiny homes or RVs. People seem to take very good care of their lots. Well maintained. And as you can see on the other side, there's more mountains. The hills in the background is the Kirshner State Park with uh, the caves that are famous in this area. And continuing more of the, the sites uh, that uh, people have purchased uh, to live on, whether it's full time or winter time for snowboarding. And also here, the asphalted section has more spots for short-term rentals, whether it's weekly or monthly, uh, rather than ownership. More owned lots here. And everywhere, very nice landscaping.
here along the boundary of the park is a wonderful trail for walking. Lots of cactus and trees. Governor really did a wonderful job building up this park, making it very pleasant for visitors and residents. And there's rabbits here, and lots of birds. Hey there. This trail runs through a wash where there's trees uh, that give us shade and also a uh, cactus. It's just uh, super nice. And the way it's located in the uh, afternoon you can walk here and have shade. So even in the summertime it's a very pleasant place to take a walk. There's lots of birds here, and we can see one in there. And we can hear them singing. Trails marked, and even uh, some fun stuff. Uh, put put up a fake grave here. <laughs> There's a couple benches here to sit down in the shade, enjoy uh, the nature. And lots of cactus. It's very pretty here. Just getting ready to bloom. And here's a bird's nest with a little baby in it. Hi there. This is super. Pleasant to take a walk in the early morning or late afternoon. And behind there is a condominium of homes. So it's a nice quiet area here. It's a little bit further from the highway, which also keeps the noise down. So very nice here. This trail goes on for a while.
this is a wash that goes basically behind the RV park. As you can see here, that's the uh, maintenance area with the storage sheds that uh, I showed from the other side. And it comes back to the uh, condominium area and then wraps around uh, to the front of the RV park. I'm going to return the same way and come back in when we have a new area to show. We have now come back up uh, the hiking trail, returning back to the resort. Here at the back end of the wash, they're storing some of the dirt from uh, taking care of the lots. And this whole wash area most of the year it's dry so they actually so it's actually uh, like a little park wooded uh, park with uh, areas for games set up horseshoes frisbee golf cornhole on the thing it's on the table but you can set it up and Here's the case uh, to actually uh, use it. Now this other side is a section where it's primarily homes. As you can see, people take wonderful care of their homes. Look at all this planting this uh, person has. Flowering cactus, trees, and there is a water tank that takes care of this uh, RV park and also the condominium alongside. There are still some lots available to build homes. And again, the mountain in the background of the Krasner Cave State Park. That has some good hiking. There in the corner is more maintenance area for the RV park with some uh, cinder blocks and cement equipment, ladders, etc. And the good thing about this RV park resort is that the owner developer actually lives here and shows the care that he's put into this place and continues to do so since he still lives here. The other nice thing about this uh, campground RV resort is not only that uh, the spaces for the homes and RVs are good sized and very well maintained but also the developer has left spaces for common areas here's uh, like a common area or a little uh, park Eagles Landing Park this is a, just a wonderful public area for the residents well landscaped people have a great landscaping sitting area area to play horseshoes More sitting areas pergolas some tables as well as uh, a grill that's provided for the, the, it, the people. And this, this is all what contributes to this being such a wonderful place. And some flowering plants here.
Some of these homes, they're snowbird homes, so people aren't living here full time. But most of them, people do live here because it's such a beautiful place. And being that Benson, and especially this part, is about 4,100 feet elevation, it's a good 10 degrees cooler than uh, Tucson. Now we're coming to a section that's also part of the gated community that's primarily for uh, RVs there's some tiny homes but uh, also spaces for RVs for permanents uh, where people have purchased their lots and there's hiking also all around the perimeter of the, in the park This area is called the Roadrunner Ridge, and as you can see, it, it is primarily RVs. And another common, common area here for people to get together, picnic tables, a fire, a fireplace type thing, and a grill. And everything again it has landscaping couple tiny homes but as I said uh, it's mostly RVs in this section and inside the gated area the lots are a little bit bigger there they're about twice the size as the ones over by the clubhouse being close to 4,000 square feet or so, whereas by the clubhouse there are 2,000, 2,200 square feet. And lots of these lots, as you can see, have landscaping, people taking care of their lots, which, which is what it really makes this such a wonderful, pleasant place. Each uh, lot owner has uh, the option of doing their own landscaping or as much development as they like. So you see pergola or and uh, lots of landscaping, cactus, some that lot plus, just the RV and a little storage. And it just depends on each owner. But regardless, all lots are well taken care of. In all, there's a little over 300 lots between uh, RV lots and also uh, the home lots. And now we're returning back to the area that's primarily homes. But it, along this side, there's a wash, and this side has more RV spots. couple small homes, tiny homes here, but uh, again this side here is RV spots and on the left side are, is the area of the homes and each home has an area for parking people's RV if they still choose to do so. And these two lots are for sale, 59 and 60. Trees behind there is a wash. Very, very nice.
we're coming up to the gate that leads back to the area where we're camped right now and the entrance. So, just overall a beautiful place. Street with homes. <laughs> Lots of permanent residents, not just snowbirds. That's part of the reason why everything is so well taken care of here. And coming through the gate here, we're back to the to the wash area, which, uh, as I said previously, has. A trail that goes all around the, the park. Look at this beautiful flowering cactus here. And the wash continues here in the middle of the campground. Again, you can walk through the wash. And don't forget to click the like, subscribe, and bell buttons. Until next time, sweet DRV life.